morning owl. Today's vlog, we're going to measure the custom shop. Because I think there's an interesting lesson. Someone who tests clubs, people who watch tests of clubs, and reviews. Let's see what we can learn from the fact that my putting in the short term has definitely changed. But before we get into all this custom shopping, I need a coffee. Right, breakfast done. I am now heading to Torquay to do some testing. Hello Torquay Golf Club. So let's look at some of the data that I captured then to start us off. Let's find out what's going on with this putting. My aim at the beginning with my putter was 0.9 of a degree closed. Uh, my aim with my custom shop is 0.7, so that's at the beginning. So that's me sitting the club down trying to aim it at a target, as I would expect. Next to no difference. Now face the impact, 0.2 of a degree closed, so pretty zero where I'd want it to be for the putt I'm hitting. With my putter, 1.5 degree closed. Now that's quite a big difference. So on these data sets, and obviously I could measure more and they would probably jump around, but on this data set, you've got 1.5 closed with my putter at impact, then you've got with the custom shop, zero at impact. Here's the big one in my mind, the rotation of the club. So it's 2.4 open on the way back and 3.7 on the way through. So if you think of a putter moving, it starts opposite this lens as it goes back, obviously you're seeing the face, so in effect that's open. Then as it comes through, you're now gonna start to see the back a little bit, so in effect that start closing. So it's always gonna be rotation. Now having 2.4 to 3.7 is relatively even, and me personally, I quite like even rotation with students and myself, and that's kind of what I'm going for with the more upright feeling in this putter. And if we compare that to my old verse 9 with the toe hang, it's 8.2 closed on the way through to 2.6 on the way back. So is it exactly the same on the way back? 2.4, 2.6, the so same rotation on the way back. Much more rotation on the way through with my old toe hang odyssey compared to custom shop. And a little bit more face control on that data set captured. So I can actually quantify a bit of a difference there and a difference that if you watch my original video and why I chose the butter I chose maybe I'll put a link it'll come up up here or is it that side it might be up there it's one of these you'll see a little white thing comes up you could watch it if you want it was to do with feeling that I'm more this way and less this way and with the rotation I'm actually starting to see that that's a positive that, that makes me feel good that there is a quantifiable difference in them measured. All right, now off to Dawlish. The other thing I'm going to take into account here, even though the numbers have changed kind of incremental in the amounts, so I'll say that, the follow through is quite a lot. The fact that I feel different in my stance. So I feel taller. I feel like my arms are hanging differently in connection to my body. What Sam isn't measuring is the other aspects of what needs to improve for me to hold more putts. Can I see the line? Can I feel the distance? at the moment and well, I'm not fickle enough to think this is the answer because golf always wins that's the thing that I've learned over the years of playing no matter what you try golf always comes back and just bites you on the bum so with the longer putter in the more upright light with my more upright stance just makes me feel difference stood over it like I might be able to gauge the line a bit better certainly I was seeing lines much more recently and then in turn the pace as well and that's what a custom fit I think can do for a golfer which is going to be our last point Which way would be better to try and swing the club for me? Would it be 
swing and left or which way would you recommend to an everyday student uh, would you try and get him to change the grip or would you try and get him to feel like he's exiting left or is it kind of more based on a player hope you can help keep up the good work the videos are great and uh, thanks bro uh, the two options I gave are the two options I would try and to be honest with you and I say this to students they say um, you know should I change this or should I change that and I say well I don't know I know that when I've changed it with other students it's done X, Y, Z but the real thing that I do with my students and always have done really is we experiment together um, so I can see if something's not working for them I can see if they're fighting it too much and we pull out so really you need to try both options and see which one works for you I would hazard a guess right so in my head if I was reading you from that conversation playoff free low handicap good standard strong grip is going to help you get some kind of de-lofted speed as a generalized rule not always but obviously it's it's often related to a stronger hit I reckon you would fight the grip because you play off a low standard. So you might, you know, we'll change your grip and you can just see that I just don't think you'll take that the course. I don't think you'll run with it. I think you'll do it and never come back because you hate the feeling of it so much. And that's not working with a student. So I would read that and say, right, let's try the other way. And again, the main thing, I would quantify. So I'd measure both with my launch monitor. A, results of ball and B, the delivery consistency. Maybe get you to do some tasks with the two options. So can you draw and fade it with both options? And then together, we work out which is the best way forward. So really, if you're confused, two things. Go and get a lesson and speak to someone about this. Show the video if you want to that uh, pro. They'll have the same ideas if they're a decent pro, I'm sure. And B, if you can't afford to do that, which I know lots of you, lessons aren't cheap, go uh, to the range and try both. And just monitor your skill sets. Like, can you punch it with your right-hand grip changed? Or are you better at punching it with your strong grip and trying to swing left? Can you hit your driver? Can you hit your seven-iron? Can you hit your wedge? You've got to test it. Let me know. Thanks for the question. Really good. Let me know down there in that comments. And look. Drop the battery. I've got the battery for the Sam, Dan, if you're watching. <laughs> right, last point then. This is the key point. Think about the process from the first video, if you've seen it, to the videos where you've obviously seen it on the course and there's more coming. Oh, God, hello. Are you going to go in this time? Yeah. I personally am putting this out here not to just try and sell custom shop putters through my sponsorship deal but if you want to buy one that's great and uh, go and buy one they're great that's another one of those jokes but I think if you look closely at what I've done or I'm saying it's like the ultimate custom fit lesson for people because in effect I've used fitting, custom shop fitting. Very different makeup to my old putter, longer, different grip, different lie, different shape, to try and enhance some feelings that I wanna feel because I think that will help me improve my putting. So where I'm different to you is I have data of other people trying different ways because I've been coaching for a long time. So I'm calling upon that knowledge to do it on myself, as well as liaising with Titleist, their tour rep, who we talked to, or I talked to about when I was ordering the putter. Obviously, if you haven't got that knowledge about yourself, which I don't expect you to that's why you pay for go for a custom fit it's quantifiable by numbers to a certain extent as you can see but so much of it is actually based around what I want to feel and this is where I think people get a little confused and maybe the message is confused with custom fitting go and get fit and get the right club for you that message in itself if you think about it is slightly confusing because it's I used to tell people when I was custom fitting that it's not science there's an element of science, but you will want to wear blue trousers more than you want to wear black trousers. Well, you might not ever wear white golf shoes, you might wear black golf shoes. Your feels, your opinions, what you want to do have to be worked into the mix as well. So trying to think of it just as this black and white, I've got this custom fit driver, now it's the perfect one. It has to work with your ideas, which is why I want you to go to custom fits after watching say my reviews and say I've heard this one spins lower is that something I need well I've heard this one goes a bit higher uh, and it's got X Y or Z on it that allows me to move it around I suffer from this shot can we test if that happens if that works for me you know and a good fitter will go well actually it doesn't work like that you should work like this or what have you they'll work with you similar to a lesson <laughs> Oh. It's about working in your feels, your emotions, your ideas with measured facts 
to back up any of those and also to disprove any of them to free you to make better choices. Put your comments down below. Let me know if that helps or not. Let me know if that makes sense. That last message is the key message with this video and the key message which is why I'm showing you the options around this because I think it's been such a brilliant study to show you how things can change and also you can go to Scotty Cameron click on the custom shop order one and um, they're not cheap but they're brilliant and they go in they never miss it's all about a putter it's just that oh hello custom shop Right, see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Got an interesting end of the week. Tomorrow is fine, but Friday I'm traveling a lot for meetings, so I don't know what I'll get done, but I'll try. I'm actually gonna try and do something on the new Golf World handicap thing that was announced. So maybe post some comments down below, let me know what you're thinking of it, which I could maybe include. And then next week, I'm actually heading to America Monday to Friday to go and visit Titleist, doing the TPI thing, getting to meet some cool people as well. Oh my God, I want my office back. I think we have to go out for tea tonight. Plaster has been, and you can smell it. See you all in the morning, post comments down below as always. Actually, before you go, if you've made it this far, question of the day. Oh, all has been playing with far too much makeup. Have you ever been fitted for a putter? Down there, let me know. If you haven't, why not? If you have, how did it go? That's your comment of the day. It's at the end of the video. Let's see how many of you get to the end of these videos. See you tomorrow.